Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. New Minnesota DNR statistics show people aren't biting as much when it comes to fishing. Like fishing license sales in Minnesota are down almost 5% from last year. According to the DNR, that is a significant decline. Eric Nelson joins us live from Eagle Lake in Maple Grove with more. Hi Eric. Alex and Shannon, it's baffling but true. Here in the land of 10,000 lakes, anglers are slowly vanishing. Fishing in Minnesota is not as popular as it used to be. This year, the state has sold 41,000 less fishing licenses than a year ago at this time. That's the second lowest amount in 20 years. On a sunbaked day at Fish Lake, Ian Landers and Pierce Holmgren paddled their kayaks in pursuit of fish. For native Minnesotans, Fishing's kind of a way of life. It's what we do. Despite this pristine setting, these Maple Grove teenagers are part of a shrinking group. There are a lot more choices now. Fishing as a hobby is trending down. Some people, especially kids, are just too busy to fish. In the summer, it used to be sort of the rite of passage. You just go hop on your bike and go to the lake and go fishing. Well, now you have traveling basketball and traveling baseball and traveling soccer. You even have summer hockey. Tom Nisley of the Three Rivers Park District has some ideas on why more people aren't getting hooked on fishing. Fishing has become so sophisticated now that it can be a little overwhelming for a novice. Nisley believes technology can be intimidating and costly. Now we have fancy bass boats that you can stand up in while you're casting and you can even steer and drive the boat with your foot while you're looking down at your you know, 3D side sonar. The goal of the Three Rivers Park District is to simplify fishing, to make it enjoyable and accessible to everyone. Back in the day, you had a lawn chair and a cooler and you put a worm at the end of a bobber, cast it out there, you were good. That was good enough. Now the mantra of the Three Rivers Park District is to provide facilities and opportunity for people who want to fish. And they do this with boat ramps, fishing piers, and boat rentals. By the way, Nisley says some of the best fishing is right here, smack dab in the middle of the Twin Cities metro area. Reporting live in Maple Grove, I'm Eric Nelson, CCX News. All right, interesting story. Thanks, Eric.